right, good morning, mamas. I am so excited to be here this morning with Tanya Carpenter, and I'm gonna let her share about all of the things she does because they're, it's just so amazing. Um, but Tanya, actually, I came across you in my feed because you are you have Happy Waco Moms, which you were expressing when you got here that that actually covers three different businesses. So go ahead and tell us a little bit about your businesses. All right. So there's postpartum doula services of Waco, excuse me, lactation services of Waco, and then community doulas of Waco. Right. And so postpartum doula services of Waco is a um, for-profit company, obviously. And so I started that in 2015. And I actually introduced uh, postpartum doula services to the Waco community. Um, before then, it was just birth doula services through the Waco, right. Waco doula. And then I started postpartum doula services. And then in 2017, um, I uh, passed the board exam and became an international board certified lactation consultant mm -hmm. yeah. and opened up the only private uh, lactation practice here in town, Lactation Services of Waco. And then 2019, um, I started Community Doulas of Waco, which is a nonprofit organization that provides birth and postpartum doula services to right. uh, mothers um, who can't afford it. If they're on some kind of government service, like right. WIC or TANF or SNAP right. or Section 8 or something like that, um, then we they provide access. Yes, uh -huh, birth and postpartum doula services to them. And then we'll help them. Uh, partner with them to get their training and uh, contract with them then right. to provide doula services right if they're interested right. yes i think i was um so i'm love knowing that you actually have been providing postpartum doula services since 2015 because i actually was so unaware that it was even available i didn't even know it was a thing until i was at a client's house to do their reveal session and they're like oh yeah our postpartum doula is go is coming and i was like oh what What's that? That sounds yeah. that sounds great. And so I love that. So just tell us a little bit um, about what a postpartum doula does. So a postpartum doula, she will, uh, we call it near. You're near the family. Mm -hmm. You will nurture the family after they give birth. You will educate the family. Mm -hmm. You will assess what their needs are, and then you will refer them to the right place in the community. And you're providing right, physical resources. support. Yes, right. you're, you're providing physical support to the mom, informational support, and just emotional support to right. her after she gives birth. Right. You know, cooking for her, she needs to um, have a meal. Because most moms right. don't pay attention to their own physical bodies because they're focused on the baby or everybody else in the home. And a mom, a new mom, can go for a day without eating. Yeah. You know, Wait. or I had a client. Once I came to her, and uh, she just, she looked bad. Oh. <laughs> and I'm like, when was the last time you had a shower? She yeah. said, it's been three days yeah. since I've had a shower. Yeah. And I'm like, give me the baby, yeah. and you, you go, go take a shower. And don't take a fast one either. Yeah, take care of yourself, Mom. Yes. And so that's mm -hmm. wonderful that you got, because it is, um, we chatted a little bit about how it can be such an isolating experience sometimes. You, I mean, you've got baby, and you are excited to be a new mom, but um, it, it can be um, a really hard adjustment. Mm -hmm. And I love it that you're there to say, okay, mom, yeah, go take a shower or eat because we t you know that's so important for breastfeeding is to have the nutrition so that you can then nourish yes. baby. Mm -hmm. And so um, that is fantastic. I'm we, you know, we talked a little bit just in our chit chat about mental health of moms. And so I love too that the postpartum doula is kind of poised there to help mom if there is a struggle. And then so you just help them access those resources? Yeah, so we will serve a mom anywhere from birth to 12 weeks. Okay. And then if the mom is, is, is clinically diagnosed with postpartum depression, then we can come back in during the first year, anytime during the first year, okay. and to provide support to her. And so actually the postpartum doula will do a, a postpartum depression screening. Oh, perfect. With the mom. Oh, that's good. And help her to know if she's at risk. And if she's at risk, then the dual will refer her. It's like, hey, let's, we need to get with your doctor. Right. And we need to let them know what's going on. And then hold her accountable. It's like, okay, did you call your doctor? Let's call the doctor right now. Right. And let's get you scheduled so that you can get a full assessment 
and the doctor and counselor can make a plan for the mom and then the postpartum doula can help to make sure the mom is meeting out that plan that's fantastic and uh doing whatever is 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 needed to get her to a place of wholeness right mm -hmm. that that is that is so important and i i love knowing that that is uh, available to moms and i'm gonna actually jump because we um we instead of talking about lactation services next because of that i want to jump to your community doulas because i think that that's um you said that that is a nonprofit, and so mm -hmm. that is serving underserved mamas and mm -hmm. i think that's um so vital that they're having access to all of that information um that same information and mm -hmm. those same resources so tell us a little bit about uh community doulas so community doulas of waco we um hire well we contract with um, our doulas to provide the services and and our doulas are paid at a very mark a high market rate okay. you know and our moms that want to become that we serve that want to become a doula we will help her um, to do that and the community doula provides just as the same exact support as you know right. a, a for-profit doula Service. It's the same level of service, maybe before a, a longer amount of time, because doula services are very expensive, and right. actually it's considered a luxury, right? Ex, um, right. You know, service. But just because you can't afford a doula does not mean you don't need one, right? You know, and honestly, my opinion is doula services should not be a luxury. Any mom who wants one should have access yeah. to a doula, because um, all the research has shown that when a doula is present, working with the mom either at birth or postpartum, maternal morbidity rates decrease significantly. Yeah. Because the, eyes, the, do, the, the doula is right there with the mom, the mom has eyes on her, because typically here in our country, you have a baby and then sit, you don't see anybody for six weeks. Right. Right, you were by yourself, and that's or, where that isolation comes in. You know, yes. first everybody's coming at we right. coming mm -hmm. at you, but then then it's like, oh wait, now it's just me. Yes, and mm -hmm. if there's dad, dad's back at work, and yes, and you you're know. all alone with this baby. Right, you know, and so the doula is is present with the mom. Not she's not coming at the mom. She's, she's with coming mom. with her. You know, and helping her to accomplish the things that she as a mother wants mm -hmm. to accomplish. Yeah. You know, doulas do not come in with an agenda. Yeah. We come in the door and say, how was your night? And what would you like to see accomplished yeah. today? What what what's on your mind and your heart for today? I love it. You know, we come alongside her and help her to do that. Yeah. You know, we find often too that moms who are in <clears throat> underserved communities, sometimes they have a, a, a few more things <laughs> yeah. that they're dealing with that other moms right. might not necessarily have to deal with. Right. You know, and so our community doulas um, are trained in all different levels you know, of, of helping the mom and, 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 and helping to recognize when she's going to be needing some help and, okay. and, and getting her to the resources that she needs. Okay. I love, I, I, I'm actually almost tearing up. Like, I just, I, I, love, I'm sorry, I love, I love, I love it. I love that, um, you are serving moms in such a special way. And, um, so I want to hop over to, um, lactation services because you shared that, um, that is one of your other uh, businesses and so mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that. So Lactation Services of Waco um, is a private uh, practice lactation and so we, we will serve the mom uh, if you're breastfeeding from you start breastfeeding until you decide to finish breastfeeding. Right. And so we differ from hospital lactation consultants because mostly hospital just deals with newborn right. for the most part <laughs> and so we come alongside the whole entire spectrum of nursing and so we clinically manage um, all breastfeeding concerns we will assess at your very first consultation we'll assess the mom we'll assess the baby and we will find out where the problem is right you know what's the root cause of the of, of what's going on and then make help uh, make a plan uh, to help get that problem uh, resolved you yes. know for the mom or for the baby or, or for both you know so if you're having a low supply issue okay we're gonna figure out why you have a low supply and then we're gonna help you fix your supply. Right. You know, if the baby's not latching, well, why is this baby not latching? Right, what's going on? What's, what's the backstory? Mm -hmm. And right. let's figure it mm -hmm. out together. Yeah. Okay. And if, if you're there with mom for, you know, not just newborn, then especially if things come up like mastitis or anything that mm -hmm. comes up, mom has that resource there yes. to help mm -hmm. her through the issues. Right. And so I know, um, 
I, w I want you to tell us a little bit about you as a mom because mm -hmm. at, with our quick chat, you know, I do know that that plays into your lactation services journey. So tell yes. us about you as a mama. So I have five children. Yeah. They're all grown yeah. and I have a grandbaby and one on the way. That's exciting. And so I breastfed my first three babies with no problems whatsoever yeah. for a year or more. I had plenty of milk, big fat juicy babies, everything yeah. was great. My fourth baby came along and that we don't have the same story yeah. for that. We had so, so many problems. Um, I had problems and she had problems. And so it just was a train wreck. But the lactation consultant was very, very uh, supportive of me. Yeah. She really, really helped me work through that. I ended up not being able to breastfeed after four right. months of trying and doing all the things. Um, but she, you know, she just her, the way she supported me emotionally, I'm like, I want to do this. I want to be there and help right. moms that are struggling the same way um, right. that I struggled. And my fifth baby, I wasn't able to uh, produce milk either because of the things that I was dealing right. with with the fourth baby. Right. But we did what's called comfort nursing. Okay. So she never took a pacifier. All of her feedings came from a bottle. Yeah. But if she wanted to suck on anything, she comforting or anything, oh. she just, okay. some people call it dry nursing. Yeah. You know, it's comfort nursing or dry nursing. She, I would just latch her to my breast and she did that for eight months until she decided, okay, I'm I'm good, yeah, mama. Yeah. <laughs> so you got that connection. Yes, I got That's that like, connection. I just know I love that because my second son um, is foster adopted. So mm -hmm. there was no way I could breastfeed him, even though I did enjoy breastfeeding with my first son. And um, But, man, I did skin to skin with mm -hmm. him like nobody's business. I, yeah. You know, more so than I think I or at least more intentionally yeah. with my than with my first, which because with my first that was just how I was feeding him, and so I know with my second, like I wore that baby more than anything, yeah. you know, like that's I just I wore great. him everywhere. Where people were like, why are you wearing him all the time? Uh, I just that's just because there's something about that connection, yes. about that um, skin to skin connection mm -hmm. that just. Um, does build a bond but also just is, is important so that's neat to know because I actually have not heard of that before well Tanya thank you so much you are amazing oh, amazing amazing you. and I'm so excited <laughs> to know about the resources you have for Waco Moms and um, I will put all of your um, information just um, in the video so people can find you but I just I, I am thrilled to meet you oh, but also nice. just thrilled <laughs> to know about the services you're providing all right, Thank mamas, you. thanks so much for joining us. Um, this has been such a, a great chat with Tanya, and I hope you will subscribe or follow on Instagram so that you don't miss any future Monday Mom Minutes, but we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye-bye.